Hello and welcome once again. I'm Steel Walrus. You are awesome, and we are back in Star Trek Online with our uh, beginner-friendly walkthrough of the campaign of the game. And uh, we've got a new mission waiting for us, and it's a great excuse to look at a feature that uh, you may not have noticed right off the rip. You go up here to where your mini map is. You're going to go to your. You'll open your mission journal. And you'll see a whole bunch of different stuff. And it gives you information on things like events you can involve yourself in. Episodes is something we'll come back and look at because that's how you follow the main story. Uh, you've got available missions, so a bunch of different stuff you can pick up. Uh, involving, you know, events or other little bits of the game. Uh, you can track your progress. You can track your accolades here. Accolades are basically achievements, which are... You know, they're just really cool. Uh, and then you've got your logs that are going to give you uh, basically communications you've received. I Ironically, that should probably be in the communication log and not the captain log, but uh, I... Uh, anyhow, so your overview is going to show you where you are in the storyline. It's going to show you uh, task force operations, which are a thing you can get into in level 3. We'll probably do that... Um, We'll probably do that for its own episode. Maybe maybe the next episode we'll we'll look at that. Um, or once we get to, say, level 5 and we have a new ship, uh, we'll try it out by using that. Uh, but for right now... For right now, we're going to go ahead and do the next episode, which is Stranded in Space. So we're going to hail the Admiral. I've received a report there is a Bolian freight that is that. overdue arriving at Earth Space Dock. It may need assistance. Alright, so Dana Brat is an experienced captain and the daughter of former a former Starfleet officer. It's not like her to be out of contact. Your orders are to head to sector space, or head out to sector space and find the Azura. I've already transmitted the ship's last known coordinates to your con officer. Good luck. Okay, we'll get some dilithium, we'll get some expertise, and some experience. Uh, expertise is used, by the way, to upgrade your uh, your like command crew and stuff, whereas your experience points are for yourself. Uh, we'll also get uh, the ability to call a trade ship, which is really cool, so we can sell excess inventory and whatnot. And then we'll get some uh, some other stuff we can, you know, you go ahead and use. Here ships travel at warp speed between systems. Con All right, so yeah, that's the uh, the overland map there, basically. Um, We've talked about, yeah, I know how to do that. Anyhow, I'm trying to teach other people to do that <laughs> at this point. Um, so, yeah, we'll just click on this, but we're going to try something new. I want to make sure I've got all the stuff. Uh, pardon me while I, I take care of uh, equipping my ship. Okay, we're going to do this. We're going to make sure I've got all that together. We have the best stuff. It's it's good occasionally just to check and make certain that you have all of the stuff that you're supposed to have, which I do. We're good. And we're just going to press this button up here. So I think I talked about it before. This is the transwarp button. It's basically like a fast travel button. Uh, that being said, it may have gotten cut out with that little uh, loopy that I did earlier. Loopy? Yeah, that's what we're going to call it. Because oopsie just sounds so ridiculous. Range. This is Dana Brott of the transport SS Azura. Please help. Warp core containment field down. Radiation flooding ship. Communications and life support failing. Cannot eject warp core. Need immediate evacuation and assistance. Please hmm. help us. Excuse me. All right. I guess we got to help them out. All right, we will begin the mission. And we'll show up there. Uh, a lot of the time you'll you'll come to systems and you'll see multiple to any options. Ships in range. But we'll talk this more about that in a time. Of the transport SS Azura. Please help. We're being pursued by Orion Raiders. Crew injured, taking heavy fire. Dropping out of warp near your coordinates. Need immediate evacuation and assistance. Please help us. And then a uh, sudden and not entirely conventional green era uh, mission. Being said.
That's a good screenshot. Keep tracking that distress signal. Okay. Okay, we talked about that last time, the, uh, the scanning minigame. But we are very close to being in combat range with the Orion Corvettes. We're going to go ahead and... Knock the Orions out of the fight as quick as we can. And since most of our uh, combat power is going to be aiming this way. There you go. Yeah, we just finished them out with guns. Alright, now we need to hit the other Orion ships. We're going to use our an evasive maneuvers to actually get a boost of speed. That's a nice little additional thing we can do. More useful in combat, but uh, it works here too. Make sure to keep pressure on their shields at all times. I've lost tally on that other Orion ship because it was behind the asteroids. Those sneaky Orions. Can't complain too much. They gave us Tindy. That's, that's fun. Yeah. Explosions. Yeah, I got it too. Good. It'll look good in the screenshots. Alright, so let's go ahead and scan the Azura. I'm pressing Q to drop my uh, speed down. Okay, so we're going to transport on over and try and help out the crew of the Azura. Most missions in this game have a space combat thing and a not so space combat thing. Um, Captain, I'm concerned about the just kind of how it goes. Well, sometimes it's more some story driven, sometimes core, more combat driven. Our sensors can't pick up enough to determine exactly what you'll find over there. I'm sure I can send you and the away team to the ship safely, but getting you back might be a problem until the Azura's critical damage is repaired. Step on the transporter pad when you're ready to go and be careful, sir. All right. Now it's telling us about uh, shooter mode, by the way. Uh, so if you want to be a quiet kid, you can press your B key, and that'll swap you over. And then you can press B, you can press X, and really zone in there. But we're just going to hop on the uh, platform now. And there you go. Let's go ahead and beam on out. Okay, I'm going to press H and unholster my pistol. We're all pick up some life signs. Arrest our Orion. Oh, goodness. We've got plasma leaks we're going to have to deal with. Okay. I'll show you how this looks. So, like a, like a shooter. Okay. And we've got anomalies in the air. But like any other shooter... Uh, you can aim with your X key, which is a little weird, but uh, you're going to fire with your mouse buttons. And take all. You got tribbles. Be warned, tribbles will take all of your inventory. But they have a gameplay function too, so it's one of those things you kind of want to balance. Okay. Okay, so this is another thing. Different careers have different side objectives they can complete throughout uh, the mission. So a science career person could have provided first aid. Uh, an engineer might be able to 
do something engineering related. We'll probably see some of that in this mission. Uh, for example... Oh, okay, that one's... Alright, so you see, this is what we're dealing with here. It's a little funky, and the reason I don't advise it is if you get into a tight space, it's going to, like, kind of jack with your perspective a little, and that's not fun. Um, but... Alright. There we go, hit the B key and come out of that. So if that appeals to you to do, you're welcome to do it. Um, if you are a sane person who likes their sanity, I uh, would suggest you don't do it. We can scan this Thoron particle here. Again, in even space missions and uh, um, ground missions, you're going to see these different things. And you get, you get stuff from doing that. So I highly recommend anytime you see an anomaly, and it'll tell you anytime you scan, um, I recommend you go ahead and do that. Because if nothing else, you can turn around and sell those to other players and get, you know, a pretty nice amount of cash. However, they are used in crafting for, like, weapons and stuff like that, so uh, since anybody can do that, I recommend you go ahead and hold on to that sort of stuff. Again, for normal enemies, smacking them in the face is generally helpful. 10 out of 10 would recommend doing it, because especially if they're like melee enemies or something like that, they have an ability, just go ahead and punch them in the face, it'll knock them on their, uh, their behind. Let's go ahead and see Captain Brot. Getting the warp core. Catastrophic failure to the antimatter containment. Warp core breach is imminent. Unless the breach is contained, the Zura will be destroyed. Oh no. Back to Captain Brock. We hid an Orion ambush on our way to K7. We lost our weapons almost immediately, and then we took a direct hit near engineering. Our warp engine's magnetic antimatter containment field failed. We had no choice but to drop shields and use the power to try to stabilize the containment field. As soon as the shields were down, Orion's boarded the ship! I'll never let those green pirates have the Azura. Please, take my crew to safety. I'll keep trying to stabilize the warp core. If I'm lucky, I can buy you some time. I was muted the whole time I was trying to talk. Okay, so you'll you'll notice that you have options to do things that are engineering focused. Again, that was that was an option back there. There are things that'll show up that are tactical officer oriented. Um, it just may not be as often, or in ways you would perhaps expect. Okay, so we gotta open a plat. See? Here you go. That's pretty creative. Yeah, you studied mission reports from the Archer. And crew on the Archer reconfigured a plasma conduit to use it to disable a group of Klingons who had boarded their vessel. Uh, you might be able to do something similar. Similar. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. And we'll get a thing. She's really excited about it, actually. She seems to be having just a grand old time. Oh. 
Burp. I did it again. Again, she seems very... And he seems to just kind of be, like, lost in thought. He's just like, well, you know, um, perhaps if, you know, the sun were to rise in the east or something, I don't know. It is no surprise that the cowardly Orions cannot even handle raiding a break. Yeah, well, she's already dead. But their call for assistance has given us a chance for glorious combat. All right. Yes, glorious combat indeed. Keep on pushing on down here. Those are just injured crewmen. The cloaked Klingon vessel in the area. We should keep the uh, shirt or the ship on alert. All right, let's see. Yeah, let's make sure to watch out. And is this where I'm headed? Yep. You want to press this little plus button here, especially in these tight quartered areas, so you don't, you know, screw up. You know, the animation is not bad in this game, just, I, if you're not going to give me voice acting, do I want to see your face, the character's face move? I don't know. Um, maybe. I guess it's kind of a theater of the mind thing. Yeah, I'm fairly certain as an engineer you can just outright save the Azura. We're gonna go to the bridge. I actually really like the transporter room. It's uh, it's downright luxurious. And this is of course on a a Miranda class. <laughs> that's like the, the flip side to it is that it's on a ship that's tiny. It's not a whole lot bigger than a Defiant. Incoming message from the Klingons, putting it on screen. Leave now, if you know it's good for you, Starfleet. We are taking this ship, her crew, and her cargo. That sounds like piracy. I'll stand for it. Alright, where are those Klingons? There they are. The Burrell. There you go. Well, you want to go to Stovacor, that's the way. You get what you get. Nice. I love, I love space combat in this game. It's, it's pretty smooth. And honestly, it feels good. I'm going to switch my what like, uh, focus over to weapons. Get a little bit more power on the recharge rate of our weapons. They'll keep their shields down. Did we hit them so hard? Okay. We'll take the items. Disruptor bank, not bad. Do we salvage some disruptors from the Klingons? That's pretty cool. Uh, and now we're going to go and rescue the uh, the captain from the Azura. Okay, we'll save Captain Brot. Rescue Captain Brot. Tempting to get a transporter lock on Captain Brot, sir. Boosting containment. Did we get her? Okay, good. Well, I like Captain Brock. We got pizzazz. All right. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and talk to Captain Brock. You saved my crew. I'll tell you whatever I can. 
Okay, now here you can ask her whatever you like. We're not going to get into that, but uh, we'll just go ahead and depart the system. Anyhow, there are some other things in the system you can take a look at. You can, pretty much at the end of any mission, you can take time to look around and uh, do whatever. Let's go ahead now. Again, one of the greatest well done. quality of you life things here just is in time. this. You automatically, you get a call from your boss. You don't have to go back to Starfleet every time. You don't have to dock up. You don't have to do anything. They'll call you. And if they don't, you can press this little button here. And it will help. So if I do this, right? You just press this button. Well done. You saved that crew just in time. And he comes running. Just ring the little bell. It's so nice. Especially coming from Eve, where if you're not in like the right place holding your tongue between the right set of teeth and, and you know, looking at the moon. Uh, it would, it's not that complicated in Eve necessarily, but you know what I mean. Anyhow, as soon as I close this, we're going to get the next mission. I'm going to close that out, though, so we can have that conversation on the next episode. So, anyhow, I've been Steel Walrus. You've been awesome. I hope you've learned something from this, and uh, at the very least, I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope I'll see you on the next episode, and be sure to comment with anything you want to see, because um, I'm I'm here to entertain the people. Uh, Alright, peace out. Oh, and because this is Star Trek, live long and prosper. Alright, now peace out.